All right, so I thought I would just explain a little bit more in detail um, this uh, sort of uh, garage gym or at least gymnast rings that I put up. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, in a few minutes what it looks like above the ceiling, but it's a really simple design um, and construction if you're willing to live with a couple of drywall holes. <laughs> so basically, these upper rings are for me or my wife. We can do pull-ups, things like that. Um, and they're so high, they're about eight feet, probably eight feet off the ground. So they're out of our way. We don't hit our heads on them or anything like that. And then the kids use a three-step ladder to hang these extensions so that they can have their own rings. And they like to swing from these and do pull-ups and things like that. And then I have this homemade uh, fingerboard that I made out of a piece of oak. So you can practice different um, grips and um, different amounts of fingers through the holes to do pull-ups and hang, which is useful for rock climbing. And this can hang at a variety of heights. It, this is more or less too low. I just did it for display purposes. So basically, um, when the kids are done, they just undo these carabiners, which I'm gonna, just gonna do with one hand for now. And then I just have those rings which I can hang from. So, for materials, uh, of course, you can use uh, climbing rope, static or dynamic, though that's pretty expensive. Um, what I like to use for applications like this is arborist rope. I think this is rated for like 3,000 pounds. Now, it's not dynamic, which means it doesn't stretch when you fall, but um, that's what makes dynamic rope for climbing dynamic. You don't need that in this application. And then uh, you can use climbing grade carabiners, of course, um, like any of this stuff, which is rated for... 22 or 23 kilonewtons, but hammock carabiners, which are normally rated for 12 kilonewtons, is, is more than enough to be safe to just hang and swing. Um, in fact, even that is, is major overkill. Um, so yeah, you can just um, com make a combination of gym rings and arborist rope and carabiners and, and other things that you want to hang from. And then um, the construction style is such that when you hang on just one, um, it doesn't slide. You can make it so that it does slide, um, but I, I think it's just a little bit problematic. So yeah, it's not a really uh, profound idea, but it started because a friend of mine offered me like a power tower, which is basically like a, you know, a metal frame thing you can do pull-ups from, and, and you can do dips. You can do a few things that we otherwise can't do, but I just didn't want to dedicate the, the footprint to it, you know, the floor space. Um, we use this garage for woodworking and repairing cars and um, all sorts of outdoor adventure preparation. And, and so I wanted something that was just totally out of the way, but then also kind of immediately available. And so in this stance, I basically just jump and grab the rings and I can do some pull-ups. Um, and then I'll hang from the fingerboard and work on my grips. And then the kids just add the extensions. So I'll cut now to what it looks like in the attic. And uh, that'll give you an idea of what you can do construction-wise. And that'll be that. If you didn't like this, that's okay. Give it a thumbs down. No problem. I get it. But uh, if you do, then uh, I hope it helps you develop something for your own garage, your own family. And uh, this is going to sound a little preachy, but I just want to say I lived in Germany for three years. And I saw uh, the way that they lived. And they live with a lot less. They don't have as big of houses as we do. They don't have dedicated spaces for exercise. And so they just came up with a lot of creative solutions that we consider hokey or redneck or whatever. Um, but over there, you know, it's totally normal. And so my encouragement to you would be, um, you know, whatever size house you have, however many kids you have, if you're starting to feel like we need a bigger space, um, I would encourage you to just uh, expand your view a little bit and, and Think about some creative solutions that'll help you make better use of the space you have, uh, pay down your debt, and uh, live a more financially free life. And who cares what other people and neighbors think of you? Um, if you're paying down your debt and you're coming up with creative solutions, then uh, that's a win in my book. So anyway, I'll stop preaching and I'll cut to the construction stuff now. All right, so I'm in the attic now. So I'm above the garage. These are the ceiling joists. And basically all I did was I, take the, I took that arbor rated uh, rope and I dropped it through holes in the drywall, uh, which get rounded out as the kids play on them, of course. And then I have just, uh, this is probably a three inch piece of oak 
about an inch and a half thick. You could easily use a two by six. You probably could use a two by four. I just happened to have this lying around and it had no other use for me. And then um, basically I screwed uh, two long screws through here into the ceiling joist and here. And then I just drilled uh, some holes, chamfered the edges for the rope. And then I just added this <laughs> scrap block of molding <laughs> uh, just to keep the rope from sliding. Because if you just help, sometimes the kids want to hold on just one of the rings and the whole rope would slide. But I've mounted many things in the house like this before. Uh, the children's bunk beds are held up this way. And uh, we had a swing in one of our guest rooms that the kids used to swing in. And uh, it's super solid, never had any issues with it. And you can basically use whatever scraps are lying around.